In this episode of Making a First Suit from Scratch, we finally murder the poor duct tape dummy that we created in the previous episode. If you're totally new to this channel, we're building a fursuit literally piece by piece from scratch. If you go to the very beginning of the series, the very beginning, it can show all the way from creating the character to hopefully at the very end having a full plush fursuit, and then we're going piece by piece, step by step. In the previous episode, we, um, we ended with a full duct tape dummy, and in this episode, we create, or at least attempt to start, our bodysuit. I don't want to give you guys too much of a preview, but it is actually starting to look like something. So let's cut to where we left off previously, where we had just finished the duct tape dummy. So if you remember a long, long time ago, we went ahead and made this, a duct tape dummy. And I mentioned when we made it, it's gonna allow us to basically make a fursuit for free. And what I mean by that is, our entire plan is, is we're gonna draw out what our, our pattern pieces are gonna be, cut them all out, and then finally, we're just gonna sew everything together. It should be that easy. It can't possibly be hard, right? But nonetheless, the very first step to getting our bodysuit made is we need to start drawing out all of our pattern pieces. And before we can do that, we actually need to know what our character is gonna look like. If you're truly an ancient gamer, you'll, you'll remember this from episode one. This is the original ref sheet that we made when making this first suit with the idea would be that we would pattern the character to look like this guy here in the bottom corner. Now, that was a really long time ago, and I'm really lazy, and I never did the back half of that, but I have a quick little trap. So what I did was I took a picture of our duct tape dummy using my phone, and then I just plopped it and procreated it, and then just drew over it where I wanted the, where the fur to go. Now, this doesn't need to be perfect, it just needs to be good enough so that we know where to put all the pattern pieces, so that when we draw things out, it, it makes sense, and we're not like scrambling and doing it at the last second. So after a bunch of fiddling and fighting, we've finally gotten a sketch that I think looks good enough for us to start the process of marking everything out. I've gone ahead and made this. And if you look at it, it's pretty modest and there is a ton going on, but I think that's almost for the better. The one thing that might change is the blue chevron on the back of the character. I like that. We might like add a bit more later. I'm not sure yet. We'll, we'll cross that bridge when we get closer. Uh, for now, we can put it off for a little bit longer. Now, when talking about marking this up, we need to make sure that our lines are accurate to the center of the character. Remember that we're only actually doing half of this as far as patterning goes, because everything on the, on the side with all the patterns, we're just gonna flip over and get the reverse side to get the other side for free. So that way we don't need to make like two legs and stuff. So we need to go ahead and very carefully start marking up where all of our pieces of fur are gonna go. For example, the big kind of uh, chevron piece up there very top, he's gonna go up here somewhere, but we need to make sure it's um, neatly marked up first before we start cutting up our bodysuit. Ooh, look at all those lines. So here's that big chevron piece up top that I was just talking about. I've gone ahead and I've tried to mark out all the big pieces. This whole pattern ends up being four pieces. You have two on each side and then um, two front and back. And as you can see, we'll probably simply make some registry marks on where these pieces will be um, stuck back together. Cause you have to keep in mind, we still have to put this together again with fur, but I think we're in a pretty good space to go ahead and play doctor and do some operation on our fursuit here. One thing I am kind of worried about, if I can get this guy on the table, is that it was pretty difficult to actually make this and took a lot of coordination with other people. So I'm just a hair worried about accidentally ruining, but I'm not that worried. Now we can finally start to think about cutting up our duct tape dummy and getting some usable pieces of fur. Here's a question, YouTube chat. Do you ever have this problem where you make a really cool sketch and like you're almost afraid to color it in? Or like you make a really good template pattern, but you're actually kind of afraid to destroy it to like actually use it? I think I'm having the same problem here. And that's why unfortunately I had to slay our poor beast. The first cut is always the hardest one. And sometimes like a band-aid, just ripping it and getting it over with is the best way. Now, let's go ahead, chop these arms off just so we can start, just so we can get this guy on the table more and actually start talking about the pieces we're gonna cut off our bodysuit. We've done it. Now with our very creepy torso, we basically just have two cuts left. We need to make a big, long, straight guy here on the side to kind of pop it into a big flat piece. And then all we need to do is cut the ends here on the crotch and then up here on the neck. Once we have that done, we'll have a huge mess and hopefully 
our big pattern piece that we can start cutting fur with. So with that huge mess cleaned up, we can now go ahead and focus on just the chest of our fursuit. And remember, we're doing the chest is because everything else is going to build off of this one piece, so it should be kind of the most important one to start with. Next, we need to get rid of and trim this little useless piece here, cut out our chevron, then get this big red piece here, the big white belly, and then finally this little hidden piece for the inner thigh. It should be four pieces. Once we have that done, we should be able to hopefully just zip it all together with a sewing machine. The key to symmetry with these first two patterns is actually not to make one, um, one big one, is to make a really good half and then just fold it over so that way you can guarantee both of the sides will be the same and your first suit will be symmetrical. So after all that ended up being five pieces instead of four, we have this little extra guy down here. Always remember the trick that when you're making your pattern, when you lay it down, it should lay flat. If it ever bends up like this, that means you actually need to cut another piece of fabric so the whole um, so the object kind of lines up right. Now, after a whole episode and a half of just us playing around with duct tape, it's finally time to go ahead and start cutting some fur. The, the otter's taken over this corner, so it's gonna be nice to kind of move all the stuff around and start cutting out our pieces. Do you know that feeling when you save yourself from a pretty big mistake? Guess who flipped this piece of fabric the wrong way? I flipped it on this edge, but in reality it needs to flip with this guy being the center because our white's going to go here. So oopsie daisy, I'm glad we didn't cut this out because that would have been a huge chunk of wasted fur. Now let's scoot this guy over a little bit, try it again and hopefully get it right the second time. Sometimes in life, you just gotta send it. Let's go ahead and make the very important first sew of the bodysuit by connecting the top chevron to the main body piece. So with those two pieces sewn together, we've made the first real step into actually completing this bodysuit. Now, one thing I forgot to mention, mostly because I'm making this up as I go along, is I want our, um, our white chest belly fur to be shorter pile than the longer uh, chest fur. I just think it'll look really good if like the belly fur is like shorter than like the regular normal chest fur. That will mean though that we need to take a quick break from our sewing machine and then just quick shave it all down. Once we get that done, we can go ahead and finish sewing all these pieces together. Look how smooth that fur is. I've gone ahead and laid everything out, got it all shaved down. Now it's one last trip to the sewing machine just so we can go ahead and knock all this stuff together. Remember way back at the very beginning of this video when I said using a duct tape dummy will basically give you a bodysuit for free? This is what I mean by it. Whenever you're at a, st um, a place where you don't quite know what to do, all you need to do is just reference the pieces, just like a, like a Lego set or like an instruction. Um, mark it all out and then sew it all together. And then once you have that done, you basically just have one whole bodysuit but inside out. This little cutout here is going to be for the front of the digigrade padding. That's something we'll probably have to start thinking about doing next. But for right now, let's go ahead and get the rest of this just sewn together.
So with that, I think it's a great stopping point for this episode. It doesn't seem like much, but very steadily and very surely, we are really getting closer and closer to finishing, finishing this whole fursuit. Now, I'll be totally honest with you, this project's taking much longer than I anticipated, but every single time we're seeing very clear chunks of work being done, and slowly but surely, we'll have ourselves a bodysuit. The next couple episodes on this, or next couple videos on this channel will be mostly focused on the fursuit. I like the big other videos because they tend to like splash people over to this guy, this series, like the fursuit uh, maker videos and like the fursuit tips. People like those videos a lot more, but this is the cool project if you ask me, and I think it's cool to see stuff long-term grow. So uh, we're gonna keep on cranking away at this, and also I wanna get it done. Uh, honestly, I want, <laughs> the original estimate, if you believe it, was to get this entire project done before this year ended. And we're like halfway, so maybe next year we'll have it for MFO. Nonetheless, I think we're making great progress. If you haven't already, please like, comment, subscribe. Also, there's a Telegram group. Join the Telegram group for the cool people. It's in the link below. Thank you so much. I'll see you guys again next episode.